All right. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Um, thank you for the opportunity to be here. I'm Brad Heckert. I'm with Con a company called Convergent. And people are mostly probably asking, well, what is a Convergent? Um, we're a technology integration company. So we're primarily, you'll see us on the back, back of house type um, platforms, right? So things most people don't want to spend money on or talk about, but we support fire and life safety. We support nurse call systems, which is very much more frontline. Um, but then cameras and card access, um, building automation, right? So tying all those things together to really be a support mechanism for you all, um, you know, supporting um, you know, our communities and, and our patients, right? So your patients, excuse me. So um, I do need to put my glasses on so I can read. So that's who we are a little bit. Um, I have the distinct pleasure of introducing uh, Marjorie Rosen, uh, who's an, a Monobus Advanced Maternal Infant Healthcare. Is that right? Did I get that right? All right. My pleasure to introduce uh, Marjorie Rosen, Nikita, Dr. Nikita Dean, and Layla Kara Newton. Did I get that right? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much. All right, well, thank you very much. What I'd like to do is actually start off with a little story. And that story is about a woman who found herself pregnant. Congratulations, yay, good job. And as that process is going through, she's going and getting prenatal health care. And during that prenatal health care, something happens to her job. And she gets laid off. And during that time, she can no longer get prenatal health care. And so she's lapsed some visits. She goes back and gets back employment, gets back to her pregnancy, awesome, great, has, preg has the baby, and then starts to spiral in a different way. If anybody's ever had kids, you know that you don't sleep, <laughs> that you're tired, that all these emotions are coming up that you didn't know you had all at the same time. It's the same thing happening to this person. And during that time, they're going to the doctor and saying, I'm exhausted, I'm tired, I can hardly get out of bed. What can I do? Doctor says, you're fine. That's just part of uh, being a mom, a new mom. You'll get over it, it's okay. Goes to the primary physician. I'm tired, I'm exhausted, but it's unnatural. What can I do? It's okay, it's fine. Just take some vitamin B, you'll be all right. Three weeks later after that, mother commits suicide. Now, very heart-wrenching, fictional story. However, all of those different pieces is what brings us to maternal health care. So the United States has, it has the highest maternal mortality rate of any high-income country. Devastating. In the past 20 years, it has gone more than double, almost 80%. And specifically, we see it in health disparities. We see it in African Americans. We see it in indigenous. We see it in those of 